In 2018, the Tbilisi State Medical University sent us to spend summer at Emory uh, after the end of the first year. Uh, you know, there we had an exposure to clinical studies uh, as well as a general introduction to the U.S. medical system. But at the same time, we attended the lectures with the first year students. And after that, my USMLE journey has officially begun. I started preparing for the USMLE Step 1 somewhere at the middle of the year two and to be honest initially I underestimated the exam because I was reading a lot uh, on the forums like Reddit of the other student experiences and I was just not understanding why it was such a big deal or why they were uh, you know why they were struggling so much in passing this exam but as time went by of course I was diving deeper into this uh, the step one preparation and I was just realizing how much of an effort this exam needs, but along with the effort, it needs um, uh, consistency. The consistency is the key. Um, and you need to have a huge support system when you're doing this. I was fortunate enough to have a family and friends who were just supporting me throughout the entire journey. But uh, the USMD program played a huge role as well. You know, from the first year, we are being introduced to the clinical medicine, but at the same time, the curriculum is uh, constructed uh, based on the step one requirements. So, uh, you know, along with going through the preclinical course, we're also preparing for the USMLE step one. Uh, and we had lots of mentorship from the senior students who already went through this journey. Uh, we had the USMLE classes where those students were teaching us and telling us what to concentrate on. Um, so that really helped. I think the biggest strength of the program is uh, the fact that the program basically works for you. Uh, they're trying to adapt to your needs as much as they can, but in addition to that, you know, we are just like a big family, so you know, uh, you know that there's always someone that can support you, whether it's um, a lecturer, whether it's someone from the administration, or even a student. You know, we know that you know, we have the same goal, and we're just trying our best to help each other to make this, uh, you know, this goal more achievable and the journey uh, as enjoyable as possible. So the, after the dedicated time, of course everyone knows that it is probably the most stressful time that you'll have during your journey in medical school. It was eight weeks of intense studying, like 10 hours per day, maybe more. And you know, there were times when I was just thinking that I couldn't do it, and you know, maybe maybe it's not my calling. Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe it's not for me. So uh, there were many times like that when I was just on the verge of giving up. But again, you know, people surrounding you uh, play a huge role during this time. You, I think, uh, what I would recommend to others going through this journey is to open up to others around them. You will never say that you're ready for exam uh, because there is always something that you, you can't remember. It's, it's a huge uh, load of information that you just have to remember during this eight hour long exam. So, you know, along with anxiety, it's really hard to just to, to just to be true to yourself and to tell yourself that you know you're ready and you're good to go so till the very last day I was I was thinking that maybe I will reschedule it and maybe just one more week or two more weeks and even when you realize that you know you are preparing for this exam for two years from the second year of medical school so you know you might think that you're not ready but you are um, and uh, I remember the the day before exam I was just, I woke up in the morning, I had a quick run and uh, it was 5 p.m. when uh, one of my friends called and I, I nearly was panicking. I was like, I don't remember anything for tomorrow and I'll just, you know, I'll study throughout the entire night and tomorrow maybe I'll write something and uh, my friend uh, told, me, uh, told me something that actually uh, you know, helped me realize that it's time to, to stop. Um, so, whenever the person prepares for a marathon, let's say, uh, if you keep working out till the last minute, you won't be able to run. And the same, th the same thing happens to our brain, so whenever, if you keep studying till the last minute, your brain will just not have an energy to function. That was kind of a wake-up call for me too, that 
you know, it, you know, you're ready. Uh, you've been preparing for it for more than two years now. So at six o'clock sharp, I closed the books and I took a very long walk around Yerevan. And I just went back home uh, and woke up the next day and I felt like I was the happiest person in the world because the day has finally arrived. And I managed to go through this stressful eight weeks and you know, here I was. Uh, and after eight exhausting hours, it was finally over and I could not be happier. As soon as I left the exam center, I remember going back to the hotel room and emotions just poured through me. It was, it was just an incredible feeling that you were finally done. It was 23rd of March. I woke up in the morning and my heart was just beating so fast and I, I, I just didn't know what to expect and um, I opened up the, uh, the platform and I saw this large pass and I was just, I don't know, it was the, one of the happiest moments of my life probably. Uh, it, was, it was a crazy experience. I, uh, you know, I, it, it's, it's hard, but every single moment is definitely worth it. Uh, my advice to those who are currently uh, going through this journey is that on the exam day, you will likely walk away feeling very uncertain um, of how you did. And it is completely okay. I think we all felt that way. And just take your time to decompress and then just celebrate. You've been preparing for it for a while and you, you put a lot of effort in it and we know what it was like. So, you know, just embrace it and celebrate.